In this video, we will discuss important health and safety precautions for study abroad students. This section is divided into three parts, general safety advice, health issues abroad, and insurance requirements. The safety of our students is a top priority. Before departure, all students should register with the U.S. State Department online as a U.S. citizen traveling abroad. When you register, the State Department and the local U.S. Embassy can disseminate important information to you in the event of an emergency. The State Department also issues official travel warnings and alerts, and does so for a variety of reasons. Make sure you review the alerts and warnings issued by the State Department and educate yourself about the area in which you will be living. Make sure to take copies with you of all important travel documents like your passport and student visa. Keep these copies in a safe place when you arrive, and also leave a set of copies at your home with someone you trust. Once you arrive at your destination, it is mandatory that you attend all on-site orientation activities and safety briefings that are offered by your on-site staff. You must heed all local staff advice regarding places to avoid in your host city, as well as all safety and security procedures. Keep a local taxicab phone number stored in your mobile phone. Remember, bad things can happen anywhere. Pickpocketing is common in large cities. So, don't carry valuables around, and be cognizant of your surroundings. It is important to always be alert and to use common sense. Only consume alcohol in a responsible and culturally appropriate manner, and absolutely do not use any illegal drugs. Local laws do apply to you, and you must also adhere to the AU Student Code of Conduct as a registered AU abroad student. We expect that you will be a good representative of the U.S. and of American University during your travels. Once you leave the U.S., you will no longer be subject to U.S. governments, but instead will be subject to the laws of your host country it is your responsibility to educate yourself regarding the local laws and customs that will affect your everyday life abroad. Additional safety concerns will be discussed during your site-specific pre-departure meeting. Before you leave, on-site staff must be notified of any potential medical issues that could arise while you're abroad. Be sure to fill out the medical information questionnaire and the disability accommodation request forms in your AU Abroad portal. This information will only be shared with on-site staff responsible for arranging any necessary accommodations. Some programs have specific medical forms or immunization requirements. Please make sure to follow through on all medical requirements specific to your program. You will have access to medical treatment abroad should you need it, and this will be discussed during your on-site orientation. Your local program staff can give you a list of recommended doctors, dentists, and counselors. If you're having any issue with your health, do not be afraid to ask your program director or local staff for assistance. We all want this to be a healthy and happy semester for you, and we will be eager to help you if you need it. If you are on prescription medications, we recommend that you talk to your doctor and try to get enough medications to last the entire time you are abroad. Carry all medication in your carry-on luggage and keep all medications in their original bottles. If you can't get a full semester supply to take with you, then you will need to look into the availability of your medication in your host country. Take a clear copy of your prescription with you that includes the chemical name of the drug on it. Make sure to leave plenty of time for refills to be processed. Also note that several medications that are legal in the United States may not be legal in your host country. Be sure to do your research and talk to your doctor about alternative medications you may take while abroad well before you go, so that if necessary, you can switch to a different medication ahead of time. Health insurance is an important consideration to take care of before you go abroad. All students are required to have a health insurance policy that covers them overseas. This could be the AU plan through the AU health insurance provider that you pay for through your AU student account, a plan through your parent's health insurance provider, or an individual study abroad insurance plan. If you have an outside provider, you will still need to waive the AU insurance as you normally do through the MyAU portal. Whatever insurance you have, you must contact them to find out what type of international coverage your insurance carries. Read over the Insurance, What You Need to Know section of Health and Safety in our public website for key issues to consider on appropriate healthcare coverage abroad. Also ask how you submit a claim from abroad as the process may be different from what you're used to here at home. 
often you will pay for services received upfront and then submit a claim for reimbursement. AU provides emergency medical evacuation and repatriation insurance when you study abroad on an AU-approved program. This policy will cover emergency medical situations, but not routine medical care such as physicals and non-emergency medical assistance. This policy will only cover you during the duration of the program and in the country of study. It will not cover you if you arrive early and stay after the program end date. It will also not cover you when you are outside of the host country on personal travel. Please keep in mind that the emergency medical insurance will not cover you in the U.S., so you should also maintain your U.S.-based health insurance. You must verify that you have reviewed and understood health insurance requirements and coverage when studying abroad by completing a signature document located in your AU Abroad pre-departure portal. This has been a general overview of health and safety while studying abroad. Please be sure to read and complete all the pre-departure information on your AU Abroad portal and attend your site-specific pre-departure meeting. Now, please answer the health and safety assessment questions before moving on to the next video.